Terra Luna Classic has had some massive updates in the last 24 hours, and I want to get you guys up to speed about exactly what has been happening with Terra Classic. We're going to talk about CZ of Binance. We're going to talk about the Luna Classic price, and also we're going to be talking about the future of Luna Classic as well. What does this crypto need to do to be successful in the long run? I will share with you guys my secret thoughts about that. So what does Luna Classic actually need to do to be a top quality crypto? We're also going to take a look at the broader crypto market and uh, what's happening in the global economy right now so lots of things in this video if you guys enjoy the updates smash the thumbs up button and guys let's get into this video And guys, we want to take a step back from this update and uh, just take a look at the broader crypto market right now because a lot of cryptos are in the red today and uh, the weather in cryptocurrency extremely volatile. Sometimes we're going to check out the crypto prices. All these bubbles will be in the green. The next day, a lot of them will be in the red. You can see FW was having a nice pump yesterday, down 20% today. Luna Classic down 9.6%. We'll talk about that as well. But yeah, I also have to take a step back from cryptocurrency and look at the broader market. What's happening in the stock? market and you guys can see right here basically stock market around the world a lot of the stock market went down uh, recently the futures are going down and this is just a sign of the global economic fud out there so I've been speaking to you guys about that we do want to see you know these big countries get inflation under control get those macro factors under control and that's going to be good for cryptocurrencies and if we do check out the crypto prices today again a lot of the cryptos in the red today and guys let's talk specifically about Terra Classic right now so CZ out of Binance he's come out with some strong words over on Twitter. And in my opinion, this has definitely factored into the price decrease of Terra Classic recently. And he's basically said he's, you know, he's not a fan of the 1.2% tax. So he says right here, I believe the opposite forcing a tax is centralized. High tax is greedy. We, pre we protect our users. We let our users choose. We are firm on this principle. Look, I don't agree with that. And remember the tax is there to help, you know, solve a problem. And that massive problem with Terra Classic is that massive support supply and uh, the tax is really there to help decrease that supply over the long run for um, Terra Classic and uh, look there's lots of ecosystems out there lots of countries they're going to have taxes as well um, in crypto projects if they have a tax on it as long as that tax is attached to something positive either you know reducing the supply through a burn or you know potentially using that, the, those taxed amounts to help continue to fund the crypto project that is also important because what's the alternative if you don't have a tax sometimes you know it can be interesting how those crypto projects continue to finance or continue to kind of grow the ecosystem uh, if there is no type of you know percentage reward and things like that. But CZ of Binance right here definitely throwing a spanner into the works for Luna Classic. But at the same time, there is that opportunity to opt in for Binance users as well. So if you have a Binance account and you are trading around on Binance, there is that opportunity to vote, I believe, to opt in to Luna Classic um, to do the 1.2% burn right there but again he does look like he is pretty hostile towards the 1.2 percent burn based on his tweets uh recently and if we do take a look recently at the price of terra classic you guys can see uh pretty much from that ama from when caesar did it, i think it may be this point if i remember correctly or just around somewhere here when CZ kind of you know spooked a lot of the community you can see a bit of a decrease uh in the terra classic price and uh so what is the future of terra classic in my opinion i want to talk about some silver lining uh, from this you guys know when the uh, the price goes down the burn amount can actually increase for Terra Classic so if we actually have a look at uh, the burn amount today guys and what we need to be focusing on is the burnt with tax amount and I think the secret source to Terra Classic over the long term this cryptocurrency the secret you know what's actually going to fuel the growth of this cryptocurrency guys it's not going to be people like CZ okay it's not going to be Binance put it that way it is not going to be centralized exchanges in my opinion that are going to help Terra Classic in my opinion the biggest contributors to Terra Classic are going to be the developers of Terra Classic and also you know the community of Terra Classic and what I mean by that is I mean decentralized development on chain for Terra Classic and also increasing, you know, the motivation for people to actually get onto the Terra Station wallet right there. So I saw this uh, post from CEO underscore 44 and he's bought a ton of uh, Luna Classic and how he withdrew to Terra Station. And uh, I think this is the secret of Terra Classic. So again, if we want to get a big cryptocurrency, what needs to really happen is people need to stop focusing on uh, CZ of Binance and the Binance Exchange and people need 
need to start focusing on Terra Station. They need to start focusing on the Terra Chain, and they need to start focusing about real utility, real benefits of you know actually participating in the Terra Chain ecosystem. And what I mean by that is uh, you know people need to be figuring out you know what is the benefit of uh, getting onto Terra. Uh, station getting onto the Terra uh, Terra Classic chain, you know what is the real bonus or uh, motivation for doing that? So if we actually, you know, do some reverse engineering, you know, one of the big reasons Terra Luna, the original, really took off. Uh, in price, in market cap, is because what was the big benefit, guys, of actually participating in uh, Terra Classic Luna uh, back in the day when this thing was at 40 billion market cap? I've said it before, but it was those massive yields happening on the Anchor Protocol. So there was a lot of interest in Anchor Protocol because that was like 19% APY stable coins. And that was exciting to a lot of people out there because that is massive amounts of passive income, especially when you compare it to, you know, bank accounts out there that only get you like, you know, three, four, five percent uh, APY per year, 19% is massive. Um, but that is kind of the game changing motivation for cryptocurrencies. And that is really the secret of uh, why cryptos are massive and some are not. But again, you know, if we get a DeFi protocol or, you know, APY, or it doesn't matter what it is, guys, but we need something uh, juicy, something attractive on the, on the Terra chain that uh, actually makes people want to go onto these crypto exchanges such as, you know, Binance, uh, such as Mexi or such as, you know, KuCoin, Kraken and uh, actually withdraw their Terra Classic to get those benefits on the Terra chain. So that is what I'm thinking. That is the uh, that is the vision I would like to see for Terra Classic. And again, I think that's where the long-term value for this cryptocurrency will come from. And again, if you guys want to get some big juicy bonuses on some crypto exchanges, you can check out any of those links here. Uh, in particular, MEXC does support the 1.2% burn and you get up to $9,100 bonus right there. But that is what I'm thinking for Terra Classic. And I definitely think it's possible Possible for good development of this cryptocurrency. I definitely think it's possible for lots of developers, new developers to develop on the Terra Classic chain. And I definitely think it's possible for new and exciting DeFi apps, games, you name it, to come onto Terra Classic and uh, for that community to participate that way. Because that way, I think people should stop focusing on the centralized exchanges. Just disregard uh, this. This is all off-chain stuff and uh, just focus on what you can control. And what people can control in uh, Terra Classic is really uh, on-chain activity, on-chain construction, on-chain adoption. And that's what I want to see with Terra Classic, guys. But that's my update. I'm still going to hold Terra Classic uh, for the long run. I still think this one has potential. And uh, even though the price is going get down, guys, I'm not uh, selling out of this crypto right now. And uh, as I always say in cryptocurrency, you have to remember cryptocurrency is high reward, high risk. So what does that mean? It means there is opportunity to make lots and lots of money, life-changing gains in cryptocurrency, 100% fact. But at the same time, there's also opportunity where you know risk comes into play and you potentially can lose your money as well worst case scenario in any cryptocurrency you know crypto can go to zero and i know that's just a hard fact and i just want to communicate that to you guys as well so always remember crypto is risky high reward high risk and what do i do i diversify and i'm also comfortable with the levels of my investment into different crypto projects okay so that's what i do for the long run and that's why it makes it me that's why it makes it easier for me to uh hold my projects over the long run as well but terra classic still bullish on this run in the long run guys and uh, i'm excited to see what gets developed on the terror chain thank you guys for watching the video and i'll see you guys in the next one crypto zeus signing out